All right, it's probably one of the first things you learned how to cook. One of the easiest things to make. In fact, my nine-year-old, it was the first thing he learned how to cook. Is that right? Yeah, and he can okay. make one now. It's very simple. We're talking about the classic grilled cheese sandwich, all in honor of National Grilled Cheese Day, one of America's top voted comfort foods and top sandwiches. But you don't have to always go the traditional route with the American cheese on white bread. There are ways to spice it up. Make it a, a little more fancy, if fancy, you will. Fancy. Yeah, we got Mark Calix from Appliance Factory Warehouse joining us with some ideas for amping up that grilled cheese because yeah. everyone loves it. It never mm -hmm. gets old. But she's right. The craft slice and the Wonder Bread, as great as that is. Yep. After college, it's time to. <laughs> yeah, you got to amp it up a little yeah. bit, you know. So National Grilled Cheese Day is one of my favorite days of the year. Really? You like grilled cheese? Oh, I love it. Melted cheese. Come on, I it's know. wonderful. I'm with you. So a couple key production points when you're making grilled cheese: butter both sides of the bread. I can't stress the that inside enough. Inside too. Inside too. It's oh. a little messy, but butter both sides of the bread. So what we're going to do here, I just turn a pan on, and this is another key. I take whipped butter and I whip it with yeah. Parmesan. Oh. All right, so that's one kind of cheese, right? And what I like to do, you, you whip should, you the know, butter yourself. Yeah, so I whip the butter in my mixer. You know, you I should see, be a chef. I yeah. should be a chef. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what I do, it's a little messy, but you flip it over. You want to butter both sides of the bread. Okay. With that Parmesan butter, right? Nice. Throw, and I just build it right in the pan. Oh, that's yeah, a nice sound. With that. And then I kind of toast both sides. And then I add the cheese, right? Do you want me to put cheese on there? Yeah, or yeah you, put them to work. Or are you yeah. going to toast both sides? I'm going to toast both sides. Of this? Oh, oh, I got yeah. it. I see what's we're happening. We're going to toast both sides. And okay. then we're going to add the cheese. Okay. So it's crispy. It's crispy on, on both, both sides. sides. Interesting. Right? Right. I'm gonna, I know you love to cook, so I'm going to give you the tongs. Don't <laughs> let those burn. All right. All right. I've got one job. Denver, I won't screw it up. Denver is counting on you. Okay. <laughs> right. So bread. You want to cut the bread kind of thick and on a bias. Yeah. And, an and angle. good bread is really good important. Bread. This is fresh, lovely Italian bread, right yeah. from the local uh, bakery. And then here we go. All right. So this is what it looks like. Golden brown on both sides. What kind of cheese are you using? This is Swiss cheese. Parmesan cheese, and then I'm gonna triple cheese this. All okay. Right? I'm gonna throw some raviolis in there. Raviolis? Oh. Yeah, that's right. What are you doing? <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> and marinara sauce, why not? This is like a, an Italian grilled no cheese. Kidding. Right, yeah. I love it. Yeah. All right, here we go, guys. I there think we we're go. ready to eat. This is a sloppy mess. <laughs> right. Ooh, flip those over. Don't want to brown. Perfect. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's perfect. That is perfect. Wow. Come on. You, you've got a future in this. All right. I mean, we're billowing smoke, but that's no big deal. Okay, uh, let that that's go. That's perfect. That's going to be crispy. I'm right. good for something around here. All right. And look at this, guys. Look at that. I mean, this is crazy, but I think this is a good example of you can play around, right? Right, right. It's not just a piece yeah. of white bread, a little butter, and American cheese. So here's the recipe, what you just made here. Mm -hmm. and you can use Parmesan cheese. Chef Boyardee. Gruyere, Chef Boyardee, 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 Boyardee ravioli, <laughs> Gruyere, Swiss. Kidding. You can use whatever you want, but this is as simple as you can get, and it's, I think, really super good. If it doesn't have canned goods as part of the recipe, <laughs> Megan's kind of First out of on all, that. I have graduated from the canned goods. Oh, yeah. I oh, have. Yeah. High five. <laughs> awesome. All right, dinner at Megan's. House tonight. All right, uh, let's get over to Greg. <laughs> you hear that, Greg? You got an invite. I thought that uh, I thought that ravioli was a little reckless, but it, it, it seems like it worked out for you. <laughs> That's pretty good. Save one. I saw it was cut into three, so that means there should be one extra over there. Pinpoint weather here showing those nice haze.